You may be wondering about the effects of the 2023 Supreme Court ruling in June of 2023 related to affirmative action and entry-level doctor of physical therapy admissions. To begin, we must define what affirmative action is and why it's relevant to entry-level doctor of physical therapy admissions. Historically, higher education has not been a place where people of color were welcomed. One of the most noted examples in higher education was in 1963 when the governor of Alabama, George Wallace, stood in front of the Foster Auditorium at the University of Alabama to stop the enrollment of Vivian Malone and James Hood. Before this integration push in the 1950 and 1960s, many if not all people of color attended historically black colleges and universities, HBCUs. In the courts, there have been a few affirmative action-related cases from Brown v. Board of Education, University of California v. Back, Grutter v. Bollinger, to the 2023 cases of SFFA v. UNC and SFFA v. Harvard. At the heart of each case is a push for equity, justice, belonging, and or equality for all citizens. It all comes down to who you are advocating for. Affirmative action is a philosophy with the ability to create policies and practices aimed at ensuring underrepresented demographics are represented within society. In entry-level physical therapy education, a few examples of underrepresented demographics include black and brown individuals, those from poverty and rural areas to become physical therapists and physical therapist assistants to name a few. Affirmative action is not selecting a few black, Asian, Native American, Hawaiian, or Hispanic identifying individuals to ensure a cohort is mixed. It's far greater than that. When used as the law intended, affirmative action allowed decision makers to use race as a factor to ensure physical therapy programs were creating healthcare practitioners that would be adept to serve all populations. Sometimes race plays a factor in healthcare, and before this ruling, programs had the option to consider this factor. Unfortunately, that narrative of race solely and or race being the primary factor in admissions has been perpetuated within the news and social media and this misinformation skews a lot of our perspectives concerning affirmative action. The impact of this decision within entry-level doctor of physical therapy programs will be felt. Entry-level doctor of physical therapy programs is pushing to become a more representative profession that reflects the demographics they serve to aid in combating healthcare disparities and inequities. This ruling takes one of their tools away, but programs have other tools. The immediate impact will probably be a decline in black and brown individuals within the physical therapy profession over the next few years, but eventually, the physical therapy profession will recover due to its immense intentionality of diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging within the association's and sister association's strategic plans. For more information on physical therapy admissions, feel free to visit our website at www.admissionshighway.com or send us an email at staff at admissionhighway.com.